హలో గైస్ దిస్ ఇస్ జగన్ ఫ్రమ్ క్యాపిటల్ జోన్ ఫీ పీపుల్ ఆస్ అ క్వశ్చన్ జగన్ యూ హ్యాడ్ బీన్ సో గుడ్ ఇన్ అడ్జస్ట్మెంట్ సో వై డోంట్ యూ టీచ్ సమ్ అడ్జస్ట్మెంట్ అడ్జస్ట్మెంట్ ఫర్ ఇంట్రా డే సో ఐఎమ్ హియర్ టు టీచ్ సమ్ మై ఓన్ వే ఆఫ్ అడ్జస్ట్మెంట్ మెథడ్ హౌ ఐ థింక్ సో దట్ యూ విల్ కమ్ టు నో హౌ జగన్ విల్ థింక్ అబౌట్ ద అడ్జస్ట్మెంట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ మెయిన్లీ ఫర్ ఇంట్రా డే షార్ట్ షెడ్యూల్ హౌ యూ కెన్ డూ ద అడ్జస్ట్మెంట్స్ విల్ టెల్ యూ దట్ ఓకే so this uh, i mean it's not uh, there in textbook it's not there in youtube it is it is my thought process that is coming from my brain right so how do you adjust your uh, this one so so, so simple 920 straddle you know oh, sell at the money call and at the money put with the stop loss of 20% example okay so market is at 40000 then uh, say for example at the money is going to be 300 so 20% stop loss it is going to be 360 360 so well known truth so if you want like to know the 920 straddle the respective link is available in the description you can go and look so never touch the other leg so it's not for trailing so any stop loss will work 20 to 50 percent so now we are going to see not the 920 straddle how we can adjust this 920 straddle in intraday uh, in better way how i was doing before so one year before i was do, doing this adjustments i was making nice profit but i don't do these adjustments right now for different reasons that reason also i will emphasize here but if you like this adjustments you can go and do it and this is a complete solution right right so don't uh, get confused with the chart actually it looks uh, bigger but it is not a big deal at all okay right right so this is where you enter 920 straddle with the 20% stop loss let's assume that call you sold for 300 and put you sold it for 300 and what is your stop loss stop loss is 360 stop loss is 360 for call 360 for put no stop loss is sit enjoy garo book the profit no action is secured 315 you are going to exit 315 or 320 whatever the time you are going to exit right there is no this thing is okay so this portion exit everything if suppose market is coming down your put stop loss is hit your put stop loss is hit see here put stop loss is hit market is coming down it comes down put stop loss is hit so you will have a call okay put stop loss what is the stop loss you hit 360 your put stop loss is hit what is your put stop loss it's going to be 360 by the time the call price it may be um 270 or 240 or 230 or 200 we never know the call price may be your put stop loss is hit what is your put stop loss it's going to be 360 by the time the call price it may be um, 270 or 240 or 230 or 200 we never know the call price may be 240 or 250 or 260 because it was at 300 when market is coming down definitely your call price will come down so you can hold your call there is no change at all as long as but if the call price okay if the call price goes more than 300 what is 300 the price at which you sold what happened the put stop loss is hit 360 call will be less than 300 rupees it may be 240 it may be 250 or it may be 200 okay if as long as it is less than 300 as long as it is less than the sold price no change no change you are going to close at the close that's it market is coming down it hit the stop loss put stop loss and then sudden and it is going down you don't need to do any adjustments just leave it how do you decide the call premium is not coming back to the sold price you don't need to do any modification just leave it okay but market has come down it hit your put stop loss and then reversing back while reversing back the call premium is going back to 300 rupees again call premium is back going back to 300 rupees what is your stop loss for 300 uh, call 
again 360 already your put stop loss is hit for 60 rupees if market is reversing and then hitting your stop loss a call premium then it is going to be 60 rupees in call side so 60 plus 60 it is going to be 120 rupees loss in order to defend this one you are creating a new study where it could be any strike price as soon as the call is becoming 300 rupees create a new short shuttle create a new short shuttle you have a short shuttle that's called straddle a now you are creating straddle b then put stop losses hit and then market is reversing back and it is the call premium is coming to 300 what is 300 the price at which you sold so now what will you do now for this one let's take an example okay this one you sold it for 250 250 call 250 put 250 it could be the same strike price or it could be a different strike price this straddle is called straddle b okay so by the time you are creating a new straddle uh, it may be uh, in the noon it may be 11 o'clock it may be 2 o'clock so the premium has come down is 250 250 right now the stop loss is going to be let's take in 20 percent stop loss so the stop loss is going to be 300 rupees 300 rupees correct now no okay now there are three cases no stop loss is hit for straddle b then exit everything when i say exit everything what are the things you need to exit straddle b call and put straddle a call because straddle a call is still pending the stop loss is not hit right so three entries you are going to exit case two case two your put stop loss is hit of straddle b market is coming down how first market first market came down it hit your stop loss and then it went up so you created strategy and then market is coming down so by this time your put stop loss is hit of straddle b of straddle b you still you hold a call right so what will you do right now if your put stop loss is hit you need to remove the call stop loss you need to exit your call as well you need to remove the call as well if your put stop loss is hit in straddle b you need to remove the call as well why because this straddle b is created to defend your the straddle a call now the straddle a call is safe now the straddle a call is safe you don't need to or you don't need to have any poison in straddle b okay so you can exit the straddle b in overall put is already hit the call also you exit because this straddle b is no longer required because this ce will be in a profit now come to this if suppose after you create a straddle b your call stop loss is hit your call stop loss is hit okay three hundred two fifty you sold is a stop loss call stop loss is hit just leave it now you have a ce in straddle a now you have a p in straddle b this will become short strangle or short straddle is it really confusing let me let me uh, iterate again okay you stored a straddle call and put together if no stop loss is hit, you are going to exit. Okay. If put stop loss is hit, hold your call. But market is reversing. If market is not reversing and then going down, no change at all. Just exit. No stop loss is just exit. But after hitting the stop loss, market came down and then reversing. So your call is becoming 300 rupees again then you are going to create a new short straddle 
Why? Because the new short shuttle will defend this call. That is the thought process, right? With the new short shuttle, what are you going to do? This, keep in mind that this new short shuttle is mainly created to defend this call. If the call is becoming profit again, you don't need to have this put, sorry, you don't need to have this straddle B. You can exit, okay. Well, how? Very simple logic, okay. Here, after you create the straddle B, okay, new second straddle, if the put stop loss is hit, market is coming down. Obviously, this will be in a profit because you, you sold a call, this will be in a profit. So, you don't need to have this straddle B at all. Put stop loss is already hit. So, exit the call. Have only the naked call of straddle A, straddle number one. That's it. If suppose, if suppose this this is not happened. Market is reversing back. Market came down and then market is reversing back. V shape recovery. Then what will happen? Your call stop loss is hit off straddle B. Now you have a put in straddle B. Just keep it. You have a call in. You have a call in straddle A. You have a put in straddle B. This is said to be short strangle. Nice, right. So let's come to the other side. The same way, no stop loss is it, exit. And for some reason market went up, your call stop loss is it, hold your PE. Again the market is continuously going up, no need to touch, exit the PE in the close. But after hitting your call stop loss, market is coming down. This PE is becoming 300 rupees. This is threatening you. Uh, double side stop loss may hit. So once it becomes P is becoming 300, create a new short shuttle. This may be 250 rupees, 250 rupees. And stop loss of 300 rupees, 300 rupees. What will happen? Now, your call stop loss is again after market came down again the market is going up so you, here the call stop loss is hit once the call stop loss is hit your pe in straddle a straddle number one actually will be in a profit so you don't need to have this exit this straddle b is no longer required if market is going back close everything because this will be in a profit but for some reason, for some reason, you have a 300, 250 sold and 300 rupees is a stop loss. PE, 250 is a sold price, 300 is a stop loss. And PE is hit. Okay. Market went up and hit your stop loss and market came down okay and that is the reason why that is the reason why you created this one now again market is coming down your put stop loss is hit here put stop loss is hit here but you will have a call you will have a call put stop loss is it you will have a call you have a pe here and ce here this pe belongs to straddle a this CE belongs to straddle B. Again, it is a short struggle. It's an auto adjustment mode. It really works really well. And uh, it is mainly to defend the loss you have in straddle A. This straddle B is created to defend the loss in straddle A. So these are the condition. I hope uh, in single instance, it's, it may be really difficult uh, to understand everything for a beginner. Maybe you can watch this video again and again so that you will come to the adjustments in detail. But having said that actually uh, about these adjustments, I don't do much because I'll tell you the reasons. Do only if you have additional margin. You need to have additional margin. That is the reason why I don't do. I, most of the time I don't have a margin. And if you are a full time trader, you have to sit in front of the system. If the price is coming to this one, then you need to execute this one. And don't do this actually. If you have a multiple entries, I have a multiple entries. By default, the next entry will take care of 
all adjustments, auto adjustment mode, mean reversion, everything will be taken care. So since I have a multiple entries and both are well diversified, so uncorrelated strategies, I don't need really this adjustments. But if you do only 920 straddle or some other straddle, actually this adjustment will really helpful. If you have a well diversified portfolio also, you don't need to have this one. A portfolio is an auto adjustment mode. My portfolio is an auto adjustment mode. It does auto adjustment mode automatically. Market comes in the morning and then it goes up. Automatically, my delta will be neutral. That is how I design my portfolio. And that is the reason why I don't do, but I love the adjustment portions here. And I hope this adjustment is really useful. And if you would like to know how I do some other adjustments, especially on Wednesday and Thursday, how efficiently I do. And we have workshop in multiple places, Chennai and Bangalore and Coimbatore and Coimbatore is going to be Tamil. And if you're interested, you can get it registered. You will come to know actually how I decide the entries, how I make consistent profit month on month with the less problem. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with one more video soon.